Hey guys, what's up? Alex Scott here with Concertini.com. Thank you so much for checking out another one of our super cool studio gear review videos. Uh, you may see I'm in a bit of a different location today. I am actually here with my father, Joe Scott, a Grammy-nominated producer, engineer, singer, songwriter, guitar player, extraordinaire music professional for 40 years. So many things, and the guy who I learned pretty much everything that I know from. Um, so we're up here at my dad's studio uh, because my dad has a lot of cool toys, just like I do. Um, you can see the apple does not fall far from the tree in that regard. Um, and I wanted to share some of his gear. We wanted to share some of his gear with you guys. Um, so, you know, the, our normal review style in case any of it uh, might be of interest to you guys or you might want to check some of it out or something. And when we were looking through a list of the gear that my dad has, um, in addition to a bunch of amazing guitars and great recording gear and that kind of stuff, you tour all over the world yep. all the time, mm -hmm. uh, playing acoustic and doing all kinds of stuff. And when we were looking at the gear and what we wanted to talk about, this was something that you were really keen on. Oh, yeah. This is the Grace Design Felix, right? Yeah, this is the Rolls Royce of acoustic preamps. Uh, pretty much all of the top touring artists uh, for acoustic bass instruments, whether it's guitar, banjo, mandolin, fiddle, cello, you name it, uh, they're using this guy. This is the big one. This is the two-channel version called the Felix. Uh, they make a single channel called the Alex. Uh, and uh, uh, an amazing unit, if you're familiar with Grace Design at all, based out of uh, Lyons, Colorado. They build some of the best uh, uh, mic preamps in the world. And uh, yeah, pretty stunning company, but they put all that technology into this box as well. So this can be used live. This can be used in the recording studio. It is uh, truly state of the art for an acoustic preamp. Well, yeah, and Grace, I've always loved Grace. I learned to love Grace from you because right. Mike Grace, the, the owner and lead designer of the company, Lyons is you know, what, 20 minutes up the road yeah, from where exactly, we are right now. Exactly. And you've known Mike for, for years. 35 years. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, they're an amazing international high-end audio company, but they're also like, you know, family friends first. So that's kind of cool. But uh, this thing, when you got it, it, it really changed your sound. And Oh, my goodness, yeah. Every few years I check out the latest uh, pre acoustic preamps that come on the market, and I do always bring them into the recording studio and do an A-B shootout with uh, the, some of the instruments that I use live on stage. And um, before this, I was using the Tone Bone, the acoustic preamp from the Tone Bone folks, mm -hmm. and um, uh, Radial is that company. I use the, the Bags preamps, all wonderful preamps. Um, certainly the, the Bags is much smaller for touring if you're flying a lot or what have you. Uh, but once I started using this, the detail and the clarity and the punch and just the natural sound um, on my acoustic, it was night and day. It was pretty dramatic. It was actually the most dramatic I've ever heard between units over the years is that technology has advanced and evolved. This was the single biggest jump that I heard. I hear detail on stage now coming back at me that I never heard before. And, uh, well, it's and that's impressive. Yeah. yeah, that's saying a lot for you because you're an engineer yeah. and a producer and you're used right. to working on high-end monitors and tuned rooms and all this right. kind of stuff. Yeah. You know what you're listening yeah. for. It was for very sure. dramatic. I mean, the EQ, two channels, full parametric, tons of bells and whistles, which we can get into in a bit. Uh, but a beautiful unit, solidly built. I mean, this guy is a brick. It won't let you down. I've been yeah. using it for two years now, and it's just, yeah, it's changed my sound for sure. So oh, that's awesome. Well, uh, well, let's go ahead and, and do that. Let's move the camera over. We'll get it down on the ground. We'll hook up uh, one of your axes to it and uh, just give you guys an overview of the features and then let you guys hear a little bit of stuff through it um, so you can see just how pristine and clear it sounds. Okay, so we have our beautiful Grace Designs Felix two-channel instrument preamplifier here. Papa, why don't you go ahead and tell us uh, some of the features of this guy with all these shiny knobs? <laughs> well, this is uh, a two-channel unit. The top, uh, all the top rows of knobs are the volumes, EQs, notches, boosts, what have you, for channel one. Uh, and then channel two is basically the same. And so uh, you might, someone might use this for two different acoustic guitars that sound differently that need to have a different gain and or a different EQ settings, or one channel could be for guitar and the other could be for a mandolin, you know, which is very handy. This, if you are using it as two channels, this, if you're in one or two, that simply selects between the two channels as you have them EQ'd. That's what I use it for is between two different guitars. Obviously mute when you're gonna be tuning. Uh, you don't want the audience to hear you tuning. Uh, the boost is like if you're you know, playing rhythm or what have you at one volume and then as soon as it's time to solo, you can kick in the boost and you can set that boost anywhere to however many dB up 
you need it to be boosted depending on your if you're in a band a duo a trio or what have you will determine how much boost you need for soloing that's typically what that would be used for so within this you've got your basic gain output gain there you, then you've got a notch for really honing in on certain frequent uh, for feedback then you've got your lows your mids which this is a sweepable this is parametric these are just more like a shelf type eq the mid and the mid highs and the mid q you know you can really dial in your tone with these on each channel then you've just got a high like a treble for minus 12 or plus 12. You've got its own volume. If it's going to its a amplifier as well as a house PA or for headphones, you can actually use this as a practice thing. Again, that's the boost. The mixes, if you're mixing between the two channels simultaneously, you can do that. If you've got, you know, something plugged in, you want a little bit more one, one channel or the other channel or what have you. So um, those are the main features okay. on, on the front. Very cool. Well, and, and I think if we move to the back of the unit here, this was something I found really interesting when you were showing it to me. There's like a ton of switches. Options, like, yeah, right? just different things that we can use to go even further with, with what we're doing. So it looks like we've got a ground lift. Right. What else do we have going Super, on? Super, if you're getting that 60 cycle hum you hate out of a house of electricity in a, a venue, sometimes that'll take care of that. You've got mic line, whether it's you're using it on an acoustic guitar, or you know oh, okay you know, and i think around the it. site here it has phantom so you can run mics into this oh as yes well. yes these are both phantom power it'll power anything that's that's plugged into it you can use this for all kinds of things you you can do the tuner out which is how i use it which is really nice so the tuner itself you does not in line it won't affect your sound uh for amp out if you use an external amp as well as going into the pa insert for effects if you want to do a reverb or Very something handy. like that you just put your stereo plug into there to the in and out you know, uh, that, that type of system. And then you've got, whenever you're switching between how the it's going to run as two channels or as one channel, that's what these do. The, the sure. channel two mix, or you've got the channel one mix. And then again, uh, you've got your input. You can plug a microphone in here, like from there. Wow, and that's got a Grace Pre, like exactly. the proper Grace Ex Mic Pre. Exactly. Wow, that's And this incredible. for channel one and channel two is your, if you're going, uh, the amount of, Impedance, yeah, right? Your impedance, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, high yeah. Z, low Z, etc. So now if we flip it over to the side, we've got even more stuff going on here. This is Phantom, yeah? Right, for so, our mics. Uh, yeah, or uh, some instruments, some things require Phantom as well in the mics. Then you've got for both channels, one and two, a polarity or uh, phase, reversal, phase yeah. reversal if you're having that kind of problem something sounds out of phase two then each of these dip switches do each one of these functions here so you've got various shelf like a low roll off you've got you know and, and that affects how you're eqing things over here mids highs lows etc cetera, etc cetera. the last switch is the mode of whether you're using it as an a b box so you're switching from channel one to channel two with two different instruments or whether you have the channels combined right so i am almost or exactly exactly and then with a mini jack you got a set of stereo headphones here that you can use to practice uh, for acoustic electric guitars or, or whatever so it's a really well thought out extremely detailed, a lot of loaded with features, um, preamp. All right, so uh, here I am with the 1974 Martin D28, a uh, wonderful instrument. And uh, first we're gonna use my old preamp here. It's, 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 not, it's old for me, but it's still a preamp that's made these days. It's a wonderful preamp by radio called the Tone Bone for acoustics. Um, but we'll play it a little bit through this and then uh, you can listen to it through the Felix and, and check out the difference. So, okay, now we've got the Martin plugged into the Grace Felix preamp. Okay guys, so there you go. The Grace Designs Felix two-channel acoustic instrument preamplifier. That thing is incredible. Yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, 
it's an amazing unit. I love it. And I'm uh, going to use it for many, many years to come. Yeah. Well, and great stuff, you know, also built super, super well. So, you know, it's going to be reliable. Right. Um, I just always feel really, really comfortable whenever I see, I just love it in general, whenever I see a pro audio company like Grace, mm -hmm. um, you know, like the SSL uh, 6 comes to mind is another great example of this. SSL being like a legendary recording company, they then made this little desktop mixer that's designed for, you know, really small studio use. It's just a little two channel thing, but it sounds incredible. This is kind of similar. Sure. It's Grace's, they're known for studio quality, recording quality preamps and equipment. And now they've brought that technology, that sound, that build level down into a really easy to transport, small form factor, but retained all the song qualities of it. So um, if you guys are uh, an acoustic player out there anywhere um, and you're looking for the absolute top of the line in acoustic preamp tech, this is going to be your go-to, seems yes. like. Uh, what does it retail for? I, I think these are right around a grand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, so not, not too terrible yeah. in that regard street, either. street, you know, you probably get a little, little bit cheaper than that, but retail. Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Well, awesome preamp. Highly, highly recommended. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, what do you guys think? I always love hearing any of your thoughts, opinions, experiences with this kind of stuff in the comments down below. Are you familiar with Grace Designs? Do you like their stuff? Do you not like it? Have you used the Felix or its little brother, the Alex? They do make that single channel version as well, if that's all you need. Um, whatever you guys may think, definitely talk to us in the comments. We'll always love hearing from you guys. Again, my name is Alex Scott with Concertini.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, hope you dug the video. We will see you in the next one.